What's happening guys? This is going to be a slightly different video to my normal videos about reptiles. I'm going to show you how I make some bottle gardens, including one for Halloween and this one in Primark. So stick around and let's build some bottle gardens. Okay, being as we're in October, let's start with the Halloween one. So I'll put this to one side for a minute. So I've had this sitting around for about a year. I brought this similar sort of time last year. I think in Tiger, um, that kind of shop in, uh, in town, in Norwich. And uh, yeah, straight away knew it was going to be good for a bottle garden, sealed terrarium. Um, so uh, yeah, my plan with this one is I don't really want too much of the face being covered by a drainage layer or the substrate so I think I'm going to keep that quite low and I might even try and slope it towards the back um, I think that's the that's the trick with this because uh, yeah I say half if the face was sort of halfway covered with the uh, with the black gravel or anything like that it would uh, I think it would take away a little bit and then also if I decide to completely cover the whole face that'd be pointless as well because there'd be no room for a ball garden so um, yeah that's my plan I think I'm going to slope it back here um, it's a funny shape obviously uh, if it was a round bottle I would try and probably put a little bit of mesh in there but what I'm going to do instead this time is use uh, sphagnum moss as a kind of layer between the drainage and the uh, and the um, and the soil I'm not going to use much soil it's mainly going to be moss and a, um, a plant cutting that I'm going to take out of another jar um, that's going to grow and fill this whole thing in so I'm not going to kind of scape it or put loads of decor stones twigs all that sort of stuff in there because you can't see it and ultimately what I want from this is just kind of like a, a green bottle full of plant you know and then the skull you can see the skull through that so uh, let's get cracking with that one right oh first of all Ooh. fill it with a little bit of black aquarium gravel that's gonna be my own thing Okay, so change of plan. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Yes, I'm going to leave it like that, and uh, then I'm going to put my sphagnum moss as a kind of barrier. So this is a uh, dried sphagnum moss that uh, so you buy in little packs. I find that easier to store and it costs a bit less as well I believe so we're going to poke a load of that in there it doesn't look very fresh but we're not needing it for aesthetics at the moment okay so we've got our sphagnum moss in there Next up is our uh, substrate layer. So I've already pre-mixed some substrate. Same substrate as I'd use in all my other videos for my vivariums, planting, anything like that. It's cocoa fibre. Um, there's a bit of orchid bark in there, sphagnum moss, a little bit of activated carbon. Activated carbon? Maybe not. Maybe actual charcoal, uh, lumpwood charcoal. No, there's lumpwood charcoal in there. Uh, it's all mixed together it was kind of dry so uh, I will wet it obviously when I'm done but I was going to try and sort of drop it in I should have probably dropped it in dry that would have been a great idea wouldn't it oh well it's almost dry um, so let's put some substrate in there definitely 
think you'll need a stick now to poke this in. Okay, so I'm not putting loads of substrate in here. We're not. I'm not going to be using a plant that is, uh, or any plants that are particularly uh, have a big root ball or anything like that. So uh, what I've done is I've tried to keep it really low at the front, further up at the back, just to create a little bit more of a layer. So the planting wise, I'm going to put a little bit of native moss in there um, that I, I've collected recently. Um, sticker, cool. A little bit of native, a little bit of native moss and some uh, cuttings from another jar. So let's go and get the other jar quickly. Okay, so in this jar, it's gone a bit wild. We've got some uh, ficus in there, creeping fig. Um, and I believe this is Pylea. So I'm going to cut a load of that out. We're going to use that. And I've got another one as well we're going to use. So let's give this a bit of a haircut. I'm going to go pretty mad with this because there's loads of stuff that can come out of this. It all grows back insanely quick. Nice you can see the stone I put in there once. Okay, so let's uh, let's put some plants in it. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge because uh, it's a bit long. Okay, might start with some moss first. moss in there and then I want a plant that's going to fill all of this so I want a plant that's going to grow rapidly so I'm thinking this little um, the little pilea is going to be it's going to be the one it just it, it roots to anything it will just grow so I'm gonna I think bung a load of that in And just get it to just go mad up the glass because it does just grow on the side of the glass I'm gonna try and poke little bits of it into the soil just to help get it started to root but ultimately It's now all in a bowl, so that might be fun. Or ficus pumula. There we go so obviously it's got a lot of growing in to do um, but this is how I'd start it um, I don't really want to fill it straight up because the fun is watching it all sort of flourish so like I said earlier we've got the drainage layer it's a bit of sphagnum moss to help stop the soil going into the drainage layer a little bit of soil that's got uh, lumpwood charcoal orchid bark sphagnum moss cocoa fiber all mixed up together I've put a little bit of 
native moss in there that's already rooted on some um, on some bits of bark and, and stuff so putting that straight in there and then keeping it moist should keep it alive hopefully um, and then so we put pilea and ficus um, creeping fig in there so uh, that's that one now let's do a mossy vivarium with the other one okay next up this is a little glass jar that I found in Primark in the UK um, it was just it's sold as this decorative um, dried stuff in it and I thought oh, this would make quite a cool little uh, just moss maybe just moss only terrarium just a bit of soil a bit of moss and uh, it'd be quite cool this costs three pound so this jar so maybe not maybe not the cheapest one you could probably find out there um, if you hunt around but certainly this is a jar for three quid that you can go into Primark and just buy um, so I think that's pretty cool so we get the cork out and we get this crap out the middle this one is going to be the same as last time maybe even easier um, I think what I'm going to do is use some terracotta stones on this one uh, just to create a little drainage layer. We want this to stay wet um, and really humid this one because uh, we're going to just grow moss in it. And it's native moss in the UK so it's fairly hardy um, as, long as, as long as it's damp um, and it's got a bit of light it should be okay. So uh, let's get cracking with this one. Um, slightly different to my normal videos but I think it's pretty cool I'm into this kind of stuff so uh, yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this one I've got a cool little moss terrarium and a halloween -y. I say it's Halloween anyone who knows me knows that this is going to be on display all year round um, but uh, yeah so we've got a skull glass and a cool little moss one uh, we'll check in with them in a few months time to see the progress with the uh, with the growth but uh, yeah that'll do for this video thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video